Let yourself go like this. Pandemic, bro. Pandemic. Yeah, I didn't trust people. They trust them folks. Yeah, they trust them folks. I trust you. Please get him a lighter. Please get him a lot of likes for this. Yo, shout out to the socks, though, bro. Shout out to the socks, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ye
got plenty of my other clippers that I don't use. You have about $500 worth of clippers that you use on your station. But that's that. Let's not talk about Renzo right now, even though I love you, son. Even though I love you. We are just going ahead and experiencing these gammas. All right. The gammas are nice. But the gammas were not low enough. The, the gammas weren't good enough to get that base as low as possible. So I went ahead and had to go an extra step and get these trimmers to get it to a nice little base, that bald base. I don't use shavers on Los today, guys. I don't want him to bump up. Now, has he tried it in the past? I don't know, because he normally doesn't go for bald face and I didn't want to risk it. I really didn't want to risk it. I want him to experience a nice experience. Look, up to this point, this man is already in heaven. Y'all remember, he, he, he went from this to now, we're here. And also, he got his hair washed. He's already having a good experience. I don't want to ruin that. So we're going to go ahead and continue with this fade, all right? So this fade right here, Los, I'm, I'm adding a little bit of tension. You see my little thumb. I don't know if you remember, you know it's my thumb at a time. You know my thumb. I'm, I'm adding a little bit of tension because you know 10 years, man. You know sometimes you you know it, it, the skin falls a little bit, Los. It's not as tight as it used to be. So I need to stretch the skin at times because listen, a moving target. It's not gonna be a target that's gonna be hit. So I, I just want to make sure that whatever I'm working on stays still as I'm working on it. So just letting you know, Los. It's nothing personal. I just need to stretch the skin a little bit. Don't you know? I hope it doesn't make you feel any type of way. But sometimes you don't always have to be. Be the most consistent person with that type of principle look right here i'm not doing it why am i not doing it i don't know i just didn't feel like doing it but then again that didn't last long because i'm doing it again <laughs> look at the thumb you see the thumb i'm repeating what i did on the other side which brings me to this point here boys and girls there's times that i fade in the typewriter way you know what's the what's you know what the typewriter way is that's when you just fade across all the way through but for los for you los I'm going in sections. Now, Los, I forgot to tell you this. Somewhere around the lines, something happened. I think it was around the time that, that Darwin was leaving I don't know if you laughed. I don't know what you did, but something happened to the back of your head. Two eyes and a mouth appeared. Remember, you ever seen like Harry Potter? Uh, well, let's just say this, that Lord of Voldemort was in the back of your head. Stop him. I don't want to say much. I'm just letting you know. Once in a while, depending on what it is that you're doing, a face appears on the back of your head. I just want to let you know. Let's continue with this cut. So it's been about a year since you've laid your hair down, Los. And because of it, I wanna help you out. I wanna kickstart you in laying your hair down. And I go ahead and did a few pumps, rakata, rakata. And then after that, I picked up one of the brushes, clean brush. I would consider that brush to be a medium hold, medium firm bristle brush. And I'm just brushing it in as I'm holding the blow dryer. The blow dryer is on medium heat because I don't have time to put a do-rag on him. The foaming setting lotion plus the brush plus the blow dryer on medium heat is enough. It's enough and you just brush it for like a minute. It'll lay it down, make sure that it's dry enough. And after that, you come back with the hairspray. The hairspray is gonna just help stiffen up that whole area for you to come back and trim it up. Okay, Los, we got pretty far with this fade. Now let's move on to your face. Your face was just as bad as the top. I'm not trying to talk junk now. I'm just telling you, you know, you would tell you you would tell me the same thing, bro. I'm just trying to be honest with you. That's what that's what old friends do, right? 
We're honest with one another. Let's fix this up. I don't want you to look like this. I want you to look like a better you. So we're going to go ahead and fade out the sideburns. I know you told me you want to keep majority of the length. So I'm going to preserve the beard. I'm not going to take away from the beard. I'm going to preserve the beard, but we still have to enhance the beard. And I don't mean color. I don't mean color. There's no color for the beard. I'm not making any promises for the hair though on the head, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Right now, we're just going ahead and lightening up from the sideburns into the beard. It's almost like doing an upside down fade, all right? And we're gonna repeat it on the other side. So I start with my half all the way open, I close it up, I do a small section. Sometimes, you know, it's good to kind of drag it lower. Especially, I, I gotta tell you something, you know, after I was done with this cut, Nata across the street, you remember the unicorn Nata? He, uh, he told me that he thought it would have been better if I would have dragged the half all the way to where the end of the, the ear is. And maybe, maybe that would have looked better, but I personally, which is, I was just thinking to myself, look, Los told me he wanted to preserve the beard. I wanted to keep it as full as possible. So I didn't want to drag it down as far as Nata was considering it should have gone. But then again, it's my cut, Nata. It's my cut. Say over there, Nata, I got this. I appreciate you, but I got this. I got this. Y'all think I got it? I think I got it. So we're gonna go ahead and after we pick out the beard, y'all saw me picking out the beard, right? I am shaping, I'm just getting a little bit of the stragglers. I'm just adding some type of shape to the beard. And then I come back with the number one guard and I go with the grain and I'm just kind of clearing it off, but not lighting it up too much because he still wanted to maintain the integrity of that mustache, the fullness of that mustache. So. I'm doing that. I'm, I'm just using the ends on the trimmers. I'm going ahead and turning the trimmer upside down and I'm just kind of like adding a bit of shape, more shape to it. And then when it comes to dealing with the bottom of the beard, I don't really like having to work too hard to get to that area. I don't want to bend down and do all this, guys. That's not for me. That hurts my back. <laughs> It's looking so good, Los, that I think that everybody that's watching this video should like this video and subscribe if they're not subscribed. I'm just saying it's that good. It's that good. And after that, we're just going to go ahead and do some detail work because look, why go the extra mile on this cut and not go another extra mile and do a little bit of detail? I'm just saying it goes a long way. And on top of that detail, why not add a little enhancement? Look, Los was light on his corners, guys. He doesn't get this type of, of experience. It's been 10 years, Los. Look, things happen, things change. Let me enhance your look. So I'm using this 245 compressor, the Beam Team Machine, baby, with the Sean Cuts Hair card. That's not the name of it. I'm sorry, Sean, but it works. <laughs> it works, yo. I honestly, in all honesty, though, guys, I do use it a lot. It works well. Make sure you get both. Now, after that, I go ahead and get the trimmers, and I make sure I do a little bit more detail around the vertical bars, around the edge line as a whole, because there's times that you just need to clear out some of the color that seeped through. And after that, guys, <laughs> after this little bit of detail, we're gonna go ahead and look at how Los used to look. I'm digging this cut, I'm digging this look. I don't know about y'all, but on top of how this all turned out, this video was done with my cell phone. Like how dope is that? So if y'all think that this was a pretty dope experience, not only for Lowe's, but for y'all, because y'all got to see this video through the lens of my cell phone, 
let me know in the comments below because I really don't know if I'll do it again, but if you don't mind seeing this quality of a video, let me know because I'm, I need to know what you like. And obviously y'all like the GoPro. I mean, the GoPro angle is like my most favorite angle. I'm never gonna let go of that angle. But if this doesn't bother y'all, at least I know in the back of my mind that if all else fails, I got my cell phone. But on top of that, let me know what y'all think about this cut. This was a good transformation. Should I have listened to Nata? That was another question. Should I have brought the fade a little bit lower on the beard? Other than that, guys, you already heard me a few times earlier. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video, especially like because it helps my videos a lot. It helps the algorithm. Anyways, I got things to do, and by things I mean the Mortal Kombat movie, so...